XDM Silver was designed with clear guidance to secure the customer's intellectual property. One aspect that implements this guideline is the implementation of secure communication. With your permission, I will use SSL as an acronym for the network protocol called Transport Layer Security Secure Socket Layer. SSL provides an encrypted secure channel between the clients and the web port of the XDM server. There are different levels of encryption, supported by different algorithms and different key sizes. 128-bit, 256-bit. Enabling SSL protects against a man-in-the-middle attack in which the attacker eavesdrops on the communication between the client and the server. This protection prevents the attacker from grabbing information such as login credentials and other intellectual property. To enable SSL, you should modify the SSL config tag under the system server tag in the input XML. Before I'll show you how to do that, you need to know the prerequisites for using SSL. You need to create or obtain the server certificate that will be used to identify the XDM host machine. We suggest using the default cipher suites as the algorithm for encryption. However, if you require a specific cipher suite and only use 256-bit encryption, you will also need to determine which cipher suites to use as well as to download and provide a proper policy file from the Oracle website. Let's look at the input XML file. Under System Server, you will find the SSL config section. The most important flag is to set the Enable field to True. This will indicate to the utilities to deploy the XDM server configured with SSL. Setting Disable Web Port to True will ensure that only SSL communication can be used. By default, we add 443 to the web port in order to set the secure port, WebSSL port. However, like all other ports, you are able to modify the port and set it manually if you want. An advanced security option is to define Cypress suite and policy files for 256-bit encryption. However, most customers choose not to do that and simply use the default encryption. Therefore, you can eliminate the encryption section which, like many other sections in the XML, is optional. In order for clients to identify the server, you need to define the certificate under the Certificate Info section. This includes the format, the file, password and the alias of the server certificate. As said, this certificate is checked by the clients to verify that no other server in the world can pretend to be your server. Using a certificate enables this identification. Now that you know how to configure the SSL setting, you might ask, how do I determine which appropriate level of security configuration is best for my environment? Should I use a self-signed certificate or acquire a certificate from a known certificate authority, CA vendor? SSL provides a higher level of protection of your intellectual property in transit at a moderate cost in performance. And that performance cost varies depending on the cipher suite chosen. A self-signed certificate can be generated by you at no cost. Self-signed certificates are known to be insecure under many attacks, but could provide you with an acceptable amount of security in some environments. Certificates generated by and purchased from a known CA typically provide a higher level of security than self-signed certificates. Your cipher and certificate strategies should be discussed with and approved by your IT organization security team to ensure that they align with any broader corporate security standards and objectives. Allow me to wrap up the security configuration video. XDM Server supports SSL. We discussed SSL and reviewed the configuration of SSL. 
We talked about strategies for using a server certificate and even touch based on the advanced security options.